Hi boys and girls, Miss Layman here for another installment of Miss Daisy is Crazy. Today we are going to start with chapter six. It's what do you want to be? All right, let's get started. At the end of the day, Miss Daisy sat on the floor and we all sat around her. She told us to talk about what we want to be when we grow up. I want to be a veterinarian, said Andrea Young. Does anyone know what the word veterinarian means? asked Miss Daisy. That's somebody who doesn't eat meat, said Michael Robinson. It is not, I said. That's a vegetarian. A veterinarian is someone who fought in a war. Oh, that's a veteran, Miss Daisy said. Andrea, would you like to tell the class what a veterinarian does? A veterinarian is an animal doctor. That Andrea Young thinks she knows everything. But for once, I knew she was wrong. Animals can't be doctors, I said. Everybody laughed, even though I didn't say anything funny. Miss Daisy said a veterinarian is a doctor who takes care of animals. That made a lot more sense than that dumb thing Andrea said. Emily was next, and she said she wanted to grow up and become a nurse in a hospital. Why do you want to do that? That, I asked. People come into hospitals all sick and injured, their arms falling off, their guts hanging out. AJ, Miss Daisy said in her serious voice. Emily got all upset and ran out of the room crying. What did I say? I asked. What do you want to be when you grow up, AJ? Miss Daisy asked. Oh, I'm going to be a famous football player, I said. Really? And why did you choose that field? Because I love football, I said. And if I was a football player, I wouldn't have to read or write or do arithmetic or go to school. My friend Billy told me that football players are really dumb. Your friend told you that? Asked Miss Daisy. Yeah, Billy is really smart. He also told me that if you dig a hole deep enough, you can dig all the way to China. And if you fall into that hole, you'd fall all the way through the earth and pop right out the other side. And you'd be moving so fast that you'd shoot all the way out into outer space. Michael Robinson said that sounded cool. He decided that instead of becoming a firefighter, he wanted to become one of those hole digging astronauts. Emily came back into the room with a tissue. Everybody else went around in a circle saying what they wanted to be. This girl named Lindsay said she wanted to be a singer. Ryan said he wanted to be a businessman like his dad. Andrea Young said that if she couldn't be a veterinarian, she wanted to be a teacher like Miss Daisy. Then she gave Miss Daisy a big smile. <laughs> I dislike her. Chapter 7, Bonbons and Football. The next day, Miss Daisy, Miss Daisy brought in a box with ribbons on it and told us she had a surprise. What's in the box? We pleaded. It's a secret. Please? Well, okay, she said, opening the box. It's bonbons! Miss <laughs> Daisy said she thought we might be able to use them for arithmetic problems so we could learn together. She put the bonbons on the table in front of the room. There must have been 20 or 30 of them. Can somebody think up an arithmetic problem using bonbons? She asked. Andrea? If you had three bonbons in a box, said Andrea, she put three bonbons into her pencil box, and you had three boxes just like that. How many bonbons would you have all together? Miss Daisy looked at Andrea's pencil box for a long time, counting in her head and counting on her fingers. Any dummy would know that three boxes with three bonbons in each would equal nine bonbons. Three times three is nine. But Miss Daisy didn't seem to know. Finally, she just opened up Andrea's pencil box and popped the three bonbons into her mouth. Oh, who cares how many bonbons I would have, she asked. 
as long as I get to eat some of them. Miss Daisy really needs a lot of help with arithmetic. After she'd eaten her bonbons, Miss Daisy passed out bonbons for all of us, and we had a bonbon party. Then she said that there was enough arithmetic, that was enough arithmetic for the day, and asked what we wanted to talk about for the rest of our math time. Football! I shouted. Miss Daisy didn't like that I talked without raising my hand first. Personally, I don't see what raising my hand has to do with talking. I don't talk with my hands. But she did let me talk, and I told her that football is just about my favoriteest thing in the world, and I know all about it. My dad takes me to every game of the Chargers, a professional football team. Oh, good. <laughs> Maybe you can help me, Miss Daisy said. I've always wondered how long is a football field. A hundred yards, I told her. Anybody knows that. Wow, that's a big field. With a field that big, how can you and your father see what's going on? My dad always tries to get us seats near the 50-yard line, I said. They're the best tickets. Why? Miss Daisy asked. Because the 50-yard line is right in the middle of the field. Does that mean that half of a hundred yards would be a... Uh... 50 yards, she asked. Yep, I see, Miss Daisy said. So if you know there are 100 yards on a football field, do you know how many pennies there are in a dollar? Andrea? A hundred, hollered Andrea Young, just like a football field. Really, said Miss Daisy. So is half, if half the football field is 50 yards, how many pennies? Or in a half dollar. Fifty, Michael Robinson shouted. Because fifty is half of a hundred, and fifty plus fifty makes a hundred. And half of fifty must be twenty-five, because two quarters is fifty cents, added Emily. And four quarters makes a dollar, Ryan exclaimed. And four quarters makes a football game, too, Miss Daisy shouted, jumping up and down with excitement. Wait a minute, I said. I thought you told us we were finished with arithmetic. <gasps> this wasn't arithmetic, she told us. It was football. Well, okay, I said. Just as long as you weren't trying to sneak arithmetic into our conversation about football. <gasps> Why would I do that? Miss Daisy asked. Then she winked at me. Sometimes it's hard to tell if Miss Daisy is serious or not. And boys and girls, we're going to stop there for today. The next chapter we'll read will be chapter eight, A Lot of Books. I hope you enjoyed Miss Daisy is Crazy for today.